This classic whistle-stop presentation is brought to you by OutWest. Love the West? So do we. Click the icon or go to scvoutwest.com. Railroad Update. Showing what's new in equipment, products, service on today's railroads and related industries. On this run, General Motors Electromotive Division shows us the newest in their locomotive line, the SD60. General Motors is not just a giant auto company. It's been making locomotives for more than 50 years and is recognized as the world's leading manufacturer of diesel engines. More than 50,000 diesel locomotives have been produced by the company's Electromotive Division. Newest in the line is the 60 series locomotive. Four years in the making at a cost of 138 million in research and tooling up. It's a powerful statement to advance technology. From the computerized instruments that produce engine parts to the uniquely rugged microprocessor control system, it is the most cost-efficient and reliable workhorse running on rail tracks anywhere. Robotics and CAD-CAM, computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacturing, are key to the product's quality and lower production cost. These high-tech tools are indispensable in the new line, which consists of four models, each designed for specialized work based on power and speed. A 10% increase in cylinder size and an improved turbocharger gave the new diesel engine more power. This increase necessitated major structural changes in the crankcase, crankshaft, camshaft, and fuel injection system. Computerized machines, more than 200 of them, now online, bore, cut, polish, calibrate, and test components for the new engine. Robots do arc welding, handle material, and debore surfaces. From the boring of 16 cylinders in each crankcase to the grinding and polishing of pistons, the 83-acre Electromotive Division plant in LaGrange, Illinois, is an immense showcase of high-tech in action. Its production hardware, non-existent three years ago, is vital to the 60-series standard, setting performance and cost efficiency. CAD-CAM's extensive applications have not reduced the importance of human skills. Computers demand constant monitoring, software modifications, and spot inspection. And some tasks, such as custom work on alternators, inserting insulators and spacers, literally requires the human touch. In the final analysis, production here blends high technology hardware with human know-how. On board and inside the cab, the locomotive is like a high-tech lab. Three microprocessors and a bank of support circuit panels control the locomotive's operational functions. Developing the chips for these tasks took several years because of the computer-hostile environment a locomotive creates. Temperature extremes from 60 below zero to intensities of over 250 degrees and iron and silica dirt, grit which is not computer-friendly, were major obstacles that GM engineers had to overcome. This they did, creating a ceramic-based chip that is rugged enough to meet or exceed military-grade standards. Among the microprocessors was the logic computer for controlling engine speed, direction, and traction motor switching. It also directs the excitation computer for braking and traction power the engineer calls for. This computer also governs wheel creep and fuel economy and determines when and how power should be adjusted. The third computer is for a diagnostic and display system, which acts like a troubleshooter by keeping an ongoing audit of the engine's performance, detecting any abnormalities, and sometimes initiating corrective action. This computer is valuable in pinpointing problems for maintenance mechanics, saving time and expense. All this may appear to complicate life for the engineer in the cab, but just the opposite is true. The microprocessors practically run the engine automatically. The 60 series locomotive actually has 20 to 25 percent fewer operating parts than older diesels. This means lower maintenance and operational costs, smaller spare parts inventories, better all-around efficiency. Although it has been no small job getting the high-tech locomotive on track, it has been well worth the effort especially when you realize that the railroad industry spends more than three billion dollars on fuel each year and that the 60 series locomotives are about 15 percent more fuel efficient than older engines 
This can save up to $75,000 per locomotive per year, GM claims. The company sees applications for its new engine in many other industries, such as in shipping, for propulsion or offshore oil well drilling, or as a reserve power resource for electrical utilities for meeting peak load demands. General Motors has committed $1.3 billion to modernize the Electromotive Division's operations over 10 years. The 60 series locomotive is the first beneficiary of this investment. In elevating the standards of performance and reliability while lowering costs, the new locomotive line represents the future today with the promise of even greater improvements tomorrow. Shop, look and listen right here at Whistle Stop USA. TV.com